Hello good people, what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of one's human to break down six different types of activators in the game. We'll talk about what makes each one awesome, what they cost and the best time to use them. Let's jump right in. Before we get into the juicy details of each activator, let's talk about how to unlock them. To get your hands on these lifesavers, you'll need to unlock them with memetics in the skill tree. To get them all, we need to go all the way down in the tree until we get to recovering HP 3. Got it? Great! Okay, let's check out each activator in detail. First up, we have the basic activator. This is your trusty go-to healing item with a 20 second cooldown and a direct heal of 50%. It's pretty cheap to craft too, needing just one antibiotic, one glass, five rubber, one acid and one boiled water. The activator is perfect for quick and reliable healing during battles. It gives you a solid 50% heal, but keep in mind it has a longer cooldown than some of the fancier activators. Use it when you need a good heal and have the basic materials on hand. Now, let's talk about the long-acting activator. It has a 20 second cooldown, heals 40% directly and gives you an extra 30% heal over 10 seconds. It costs one activator and one poly antibiotic. This activator is great for sustained healing over time. It's not as immediate, but that continuous heal is clutch for dealing with prolonged damage. The downside is the cost, since poly antibiotics are pretty rare. Over time, it heals a total of 70%, making it super effective in long battles. The wide area activator is unique because it heals 30% directly and an additional 30% to yourself and any allies within 4 meters. It has a 20 second cooldown and the cost is 1 activator, 1 polyantibiotic and 1 electronic parts. This activator is fantastic for situations where you might be facing multiple enemies. If you're playing solo, it effectively heals you for 60%, 30% directly and another 30% from area effect. In group scenarios, it heals your allies within 4 meters for 30% as well, making it great for team play. The main advantage here is the immediate direct heal and the ability to support your teammates in real time. Now, let's quickly cover the quick versions of these activators. Each quick version has a shorter cooldown of 12 seconds, but comes with an increased cost. For example, the quick activator heals 50% directly like the standard version, but cools down faster. Similarly, the quick long acting activator and the quick wide area activator follows the same pattern. They offer faster cooldowns at the expense of requiring more materials, especially rarer ones like Stardust Source and Poly Antibiotics. One important thing to note is that all activators share the same cooldown. You can't use one activator and then another before the cooldown is finished. This means you need to plan your usage carefully based on the situation. Choose the activator that best fits your immediate need and consider the cooldown to avoid being left without healing options in critical moments. That's all for today's guide on activators in One's Human. We hope this helps you choose the right activator for every situation and manage your resources wisely. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more One's Human tips and guides. Thanks for watching and stay prepared out there.